for you. Wednesday the 8th of January 2014. Um, been a pretty, uh, pretty wet sort of uh, year so far. Um, obviously living in Essex we don't, uh, we don't suffer as badly as some of the people on the coast but um, yeah, yeah, but remarkably mild. As you can see I'm not having to wear a hat or gloves. Just um, chilling, gonna make myself some noodles. Um, today all I wanted to do was uh, just come up and uh, stretch my legs. So I'm sure I told you before from my house this wood two and a half miles away. So round trip it's uh, it's a five mile walk. Um, it's a bit peckish so I'm going to do myself some noodles. Um, Crusader. I'm going to just use Esbits in the Crusader. A number of different ways you can do it. But um, try to keep my hand in. So there's no reason, not going to have a fire, but there's no reason why I can't. Still. Make sure I'm keeping my eye in with uh, with other skills. Just make sure we've got a clean side. This particular fire steel was um, given to me uh, um, by some good friends of mine at uh, uh, Wild Crafts. Um, they're an Essex bushcraft school that I went to. Um, this actually behaves slightly different. It's, it's a softer sort of ferrocerium rod to the one that I've been using for years and years and years. I tend to use the light by fire. And with those, the way I was taught um, many years ago in Sweden is to just get onto the end of it and just push down. But with these softer ones, you don't actually get a spark. So it's actually forced me to use a different piece of kit and. Um, and uh, use a slightly different method, so uh, um, I'll say this, uh, clean this off, it's been in my pack for quite a while. And we'll just go in with a spark. All I've done there is just scrape these um, very wet logs. Just transfer that in there. And then not that burning your fingers with a lighter, getting your esbits going. It's open there quite nicely. Lean it towards them, help it out. A little bit more of the old silver birch bark in there. On with the cup. found myself uh, today doing something I haven't done for a long time. Um, read an article where uh, Ray Mears is talking about the uh, the uh, the gradual and slow encroachment of the um, of the green belt around London. Um, during my lifetime <laughs> we live in a green belt town trust me they have been nibbling and nibbling and nibbling. Um, in fact, the, um, most recently the scare is, and I don't know whether it is just a scare story, but people tell me they have seen plans and applications have gone in. Just literally three quarters of a mile south of here, it's a place called Latin Priory. There is an old priory there, um, which um, escaped uh, the dissolution of the monasteries or whatever. and. Um, and uh, it's just farm buildings now. It's, there's, a, there's a nice old building in amongst it all, but it's all just um, farms now. I mean, that that in itself is is desolation. Um, just thinking old buildings like that can just get you know swamped by a big steel, uh, um, sort of very very short term farms. But but there you go. But anyway, um, that is exactly where they're looking at building a uh, a big development of houses. Um, 
so um, it, it is it, it is happening um, and I'm not um, any sort of protester you know life moves on the world moves on things have changed dramatically since my childhood in many ways I wouldn't be uh, sat here talking to a camera which uh, I then go home and you know within half an hour it's broadcast around the world should um, um, people want to actually watch me um, rambling on in the woods so um, you know I do understand about change but um, you do wonder for the generations to come London is a huge city and it needs some lungs and that's the only thing I always think about these 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 uh, these green belts and, and, and wedges of green around you know that that the city has got to breathe but but you know who knows what's going to go on in the future it may well be that uh, that on the rooftops of these high rises they they build more of these garden green spaces and it's just like you know the progress that has to go on but um, you can't help thinking that sooner or later the human race is going to consume itself um, whilst wiping out the uh, the earth but, um, but like I say I won't get on the soapbox about it if uh, if anyone agrees with uh, with Uncle Ray then um, you know rather than sitting there tonight and uh, tapping in for Facebook for um, for half an hour after your dinner maybe go onto his website and uh, show him your support or or unsupport if you don't support him you know you know tell it tell him what you think about it uh, but um, but uh, yeah, I, I do happen to agree with uh, with young Ray there. I think um, I think we are on uh, on the verge of um, of just creating a super city, which will just end up consuming itself. But may, maybe that's the way the human race got to go. I don't know. I don't know. I won't live long enough to see uh, to see any anything like that. So. Um, and hopefully my children and if I get to meet my grandchildren hopefully they won't have to but soon, sooner or later in generations to come something's got to give anyway the old Crusader love my Crusader um, pretty much goes with me everywhere I, in fact I've got two or three full sets all in their uh, little PMC packs one of them always stays in this pack. One of them goes into my in my uh, my, my larger bourbon that I use when I'm uh, on an overnighter. Always got a spare one indoors because um, you never know when uh, when someone's going to suggest some weird wacky thing to use as fuel. So I tend to uh, go out my back garden and uh, if I've got the uh, the suggested substance. Uh, go outside and uh, and see if it burns, which is uh, which is always good fun. Um, with, with the birch though, getting getting the uh, getting the esbit started. As I say, can't have fires. It's, it's, it's public land. In fact, you know, having a having having, having a, a, an open flame like this, I'm not quite sure of the local bylaws, but um, I'm pretty sure I could. Uh, I could answer that this is safe being enclosed in metal and uh, and such like. I'm not damaging any trees. These are already down. Even if these are someone's, they're going to take them away. I don't think they're going to miss me taking off a, uh, a little outer layer of the bark on this. Um, you can you scrape scrape this away with your with your knife if you want, but um, you can actually a lot of time with this. Just rub your hand across it, and you'll get a few little ends. Just grab them. Yeah, well, they burn, they burn. Um, silver, silver birch bark is um, is marvellous stuff. Um, the one and only thing that I know that I can rely on all year round. I have tried I, and do try and do use other things throughout the seasons in the summer. Even this um, this grass here, you, know, you get enough of that. Fluff it all up. Yeah, tear it up a bit. That will take a ferrocium spark. Well, it does the way I do it with my light my fire. Um, this year, I am going to try and use uh, use my Wildcrafts issue uh, um, ferrocium rod a bit more because, um, like I say, you, 
you know, I, I can't always guarantee that I won't lose mine and my spare. And when I go out and someone else has died and they've left me there, the only thing I can find is their ferrocium rod, which is the same as this Wildcraft's one. Um, best I know how to use it. Worst case scenario, never, never, never happened. But um, it's, it's nice to have a variety of methods anyway, just to uh, keep, keep the old grey matter working uh, in your old age. Um, as you can see, we've got a bit of a steam up there, so um, that's uh, just a bit peckish. Mid afternoon, had some breakfast, haven't had anything since, so uh, I reckon we ought to have some noodles. Now, super noodles, you don't actually need to, uh, once you've got a boil up, you can just submerge them in the, uh, in the water. Oof. About three or four minutes. I do actually, I'm one of the few people who actually like my noodles a little bit crunchy rather than being too soft and squishy. Um, break them up in a bag just makes it easier to eat them on a spoon when they're in smaller bits, not tiny little bits, just smaller bits. And they also 